Vladimir Goldstein joins me now from Providence, Rhode Island. He's a professor of Russian studies at Brown University. Always a pleasure to have on the broadcast. Let's start with some of the issues facing Putin in his new term. He wants the country to become less dependent on oil exports for the economy. Of course, when the oil prices are high, Russia is riding high, but we all know that those uh, numbers can fluctuate. He doesn't want to be at their mercy. How difficult will it be for Russia to diversify? Well, you know, they really have to sort of uh, introduce some modernization in the financial system, because so far during the last, you know, 20 years, say, Russians were following their Western models and Western recipes, you know, very, very tight money supply, when it was very difficult for, you know, businesses to borrow money. So the, the economy felt that, you know, their, their wings are kind of tied. Uh, what Putin did this time with Medvedev and others, it, you know, a lot of people was hoping that he, he expe you know, will assign some kind of, you know, maybe economic sort of radicals. He didn't. So he hoped they will try to sort of slowly improve. Uh, you know, but, you know, what, what Russians, I, I suspect, have to, to do and to learn is not necessarily be slavishly fallen Western models. You know, they have, to the east of them, they have this wonderful, you know, e e economic engine, China, and they can learn from them. So they don't ne ne necessarily need sort of, you know, to follow the sort of IMF recommendations and so on. So my feeling is that, you know, Putin and his cabinet are relatively comfortable now. They're very popular in the country. Their foreign policy is approved. So they, you know, and plus with their oil money, they will have some cushion. So I think they will slowly will try to experiment. It's, they also will try to see who might be next, uh, you know, kind of uh, leader. You know, I'm sure that, you know, the fact that Medvedev is a sign that maybe they're thinking of him or, but if he doesn't, you know, deliver economically, they will probably try to go to somewhere else. So it'll be time, you know, with a sort of slow experiment, but Putin is usually very careful. He is that, you know, he tries to find the centrist way, and that's what he'll try to do. Let me ask you this. A lot of experts say Russia needs to attract more foreign investment, but he's still dealing with these Western sanctions. How does he get out of that box? Well, for starters, he also needs to attract its, its local investment. A lot of Russians, you know, a lot of this, you know, well-known oligarchs all over the world, they prefer to make money in Russia somehow through oil, through this or that, and then invest them in some, you know, dubious Western projects, from buying football teams to, 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 to anything. So they have to return their money back. They have to have a confidence in, in the economy. And if they do that, and if they sort of, you know, develop, and then I'm sure Western capital would follow. So I think it will be a big test for Medvedev is somehow, and he's aware of that. The problem is the good thing about the Russian government, they know their problems. They know what they have to deal with. And I think so, so they, they, will, they, they will, uh, will start reorienting their own economy, and then, you know, investment, foreign investment will fall eventually. What about uh, foreign policy? The U.K. accusing Russia, of course, of being behind the poisoning in Salisbury, Russia denying that. Uh, there's still the investigation here in the U.S., into charges of collusion in the election. Russia denies that as well. The list goes on and on. Uh, what can he do to reset the relations with the United States, and not just the U.S., but the EU? Well, I mean, I think Russians are more or less understand what's going on. They sort of, they know that no matter how hard they try to do, they'll be, you know, it's, a, it's an interest of, of governments and maybe, you know, like uh, establishment to sort of keep on blaming Russia. So I think they will, I don't think they will, he is ready to back off. There's one of the uh, talks in town was that maybe he'll, instead of Medvedev, will appoint this econ economist Kudrin, who was at a certain moment, a, 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 you know, minister of economy, who was, who was always pleading that we have to appease, appease the West and do something. I think Putin is aware it, it, it's, it's kind of useless proposition. So he will follow his, his course. He will sort of, you know, try to sort of maintain where Russia is and maintain its interest. And eventually, you know, Russians hope that the West will sit to the table and negotiate, because, you know, we know that the West negotiated with the Soviet Union, when the Soviet Union behaved ten times worse. So, you know, wh what is this big fuss about? You know, he has to follow his, his policy, and I think he's aware of that. He's, no. he, the fact that he's so popular, you know, gives him a mandate. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. Vladimir Goldstein joining us from Providence, Rhode Island. Thanks so much.